Welcome to Kazan, Russia, a city that shares its name with the iconic family center where couples come to tie the knot. This unique architecture embodies Kazan in Slavic languages, a giant cauldron blending diverse cultures and faiths. It's a fitting backdrop for the BRICS summit, where leaders from founding nations will welcome five new members, alongside over 30 countries interested in joining. BRICS began with the unification of the largest countries by population and territory located in different parts of the world. This allows for a distinct perspective on global processes, fostering constructive dialogue among nations. Countries seeking their place want to engage in a framework where they are heard and understood. Leaders are expected to address key global issues, from climate change to food security and tech cooperation. The top priority will be financial reforms, including exploring national digital currencies for investments and the potential for a common BRICS currency. The summit will also test BRICS Pay, a decentralized payment messaging system like SWIFT. This new tool is aimed at boosting trade cooperation while helping member nations reduce their dependence on Western institutions. Local businessman Daniel Galulin welcomes the move. He manufactures boilers for Russian energy companies, increasingly sourcing parts from China due to Western sanctions. As a business person, I faced significant challenges earlier this year. While some issues have been resolved, Financial hurdles remain, including extra costs for transferring money to China. I hope BRICS will simplify operations and help balance currency differences, because we are currently very dependent on the dollar and the euro. There will also be special focus on interactions between China's President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin. This is President Xi's 10th visit to Russia as China's leader. Russia and China always have something to offer each other, including our mutual cultural enrichments and close economic ties. The two countries support each other in a complex international situation. This trust extends from the highest levels down to the grassroots, as people here in Russia are very interested in what is happening in China. Amid global economic slowdowns and geopolitical divides, China is stepping up as a driver of growth and stability for emerging economies. Beijing remains committed to free trade, strengthening global supply chains, as well as achieving the UN's 2030 climate goals. In the next few days, China will continue to advocate for multilateralism, positioning itself as a stabilizing and positive force in global affairs. Huang Fei, CGTN. Kazan, Russia.